tetrachloroethylene, also commonly referred to as PERC, is a manufactured colorless liquid chemical that has been widely used for dry cleaning, as a chemical intermediate, metal degreaser, and as a component of some consumer products. The Department of Health and Human Services has determined that tetrachloroethylene may reasonably be anticipated to be a carcinogen, and the International Agency for Research on Cancer has classified it as a Group 2A carcinogen. Exposure to PERC can occur in some work environments, or from air, water, groundwater, and soils that have become contaminated. Occupational exposure to PERC primarily occurs in industries using the chemical, such as dry cleaning, and in industries that manufacture the chemical. People are mainly exposed by breathing contaminated air or drinking contaminated water, and once in the body, it can remain stored in fat tissue. The Agency for Toxic Substances and Disease Registry reports that tetrachloroethylene has been found in at least 771 of the 1,430 National Priority List sites identified by the Environmental Protection Agency. According to the EPA, breathing perk for short periods of time can adversely affect the human nervous system. Effects range from dizziness, fatigue, headaches, and sweating, to incoordination and unconsciousness. Contact with perk liquid or vapor irritates the skin, the eyes, the nose, and the throat. Breathing perk over longer periods of time can cause liver and kidney damage in humans. Workers exposed repeatedly to large amounts of perk in air can also experience memory loss and confusion. Laboratory studies show that perk causes kidney and liver damage and cancer in animals exposed repeatedly by inhalation and by mouth. These are just a few things to know about tetrachloroethylene and potential exposure concerns for workers and the public. To learn more about this or other indoor air quality, health and safety, occupational, or environmental issues, please visit the website shown on the screen. IAQ-TV, the place to be.